FNC UI is now enabled for the web. That means all the visual components that are in the framework neutral component library can be used in the web, just like that. Just as a reminder, FNC means framework neutral components. The frameworks covered were the VCL, FireMonkey, and Lazarus. And now also the web. Have a look at TMS web for an introductory video how this works. Basically, you create an application that is a JavaScript application. And as we all know, JavaScript and HTML5 is supported by Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and the Internet Explorer and Edge and many other browsers. So you can really open up your application for any purpose. In order to demonstrate the capabilities of FNC UI, we created a TV guide demonstration. The key facts to look for here is that I'm going to use the same component with the same properties, the same methods, and the same events for all the frameworks. And furthermore, I'm going to use exactly the same unit to handle the consummation of the REST web service. So the REST web service interface is only to be implemented once for all the different frameworks and all the different platforms. I'm only going to demonstrate it for the VCL and the web. Here we see the TMS Planner TV guide in the VCL. We have a VCL form and there's just the Planner component. Running the application shows a TV guide in the Planner component. On the horizontal axis, we have the time. On the vertical axis, we have the channels. We can hover to get information on all the different programs. And of course, we have a line inside of the Planner that shows us the current time. Of course, we can scroll to the different times in order to look into the future and go back to the past. All this information is being extracted using a REST web service. Looking at the source code for the main form, we see that it is rather short. Only form create is being implemented and we refer to some TV guide logic class. This is defined in a unit that is shared by all the different frameworks. This unit called UBL implements the classes, for example, for the TV show, for the TV channel, and of course, the controller class that handles the TV guide logic. This class is also responsible to retrieve the data from the REST service. It also creates the instances of TV show and channels. This is the web project of the TV guide. We see just the FNC planner component again and a web form. So going to the source code, we can clearly see that it's derived from TWebForm. And again, we have a form create event handler that just does the very same thing. It creates the TV guide logic and initializes the planner. Again, we use the UBL unit. Here you see the result in the browser. The FNC planner surely shows the same TV guide as it did before in the VCL app. We have the same vertical and horizontal alignment of time and channels. Everything behaves exactly the same as it did in the VCL. So consider that you have the very same component, TTMF FNC Planner, in the VCL, in FireMonkey, in Lazarus, and now also the web. So thinking about the fact that you can use the same component in different frameworks should make FNC your primary framework if you want to develop in different frameworks for different platforms.